So let us start SAP HANA studio. So we are working in studio only. Started uh, SAP HANA Studio from the start program SAP HANA Studio or start all programs. You have SAP HANA under that you have SAP HANA Studio, right? So where we should create this uh, attribute view? All the inf these uh, three attribute views together we will call them as information views in HANA. They are called as information views. information views. They are called as information views. Nahana. So all these information views can be created under what? Content in SAP HANA Studio. So we should go to content. In the content we have created a package yesterday. Right? What, what is our package? JH underscore HANA 1. Right? In this we have, if you want to create another sub package under this, you can create the sub packages like your folder structure, whatever that you want to create. Right? Now, select your package, just click on your package, right click on it, new, now attribute view click on attribute view give a name attribute view underscore multi table I am going to take the data from multiple tables that is based on your project your project uh, will define your the naming uh, standards, right? Coding standards, naming standards, everything will be based on your. So, so this label you can change it or you can keep it as, as it is. Now you just click on finish. So as soon as you click on finish, it will be launching the design uh, uh, here, right? So what to do here? We have to bring our tables into data foundation. Tables, where do we find the tables? Source tables? Catalog. If you have your source table in ACC also, that has to be first migrated into HANA. That is catalog. Once it get into the catalog, from there only we can use it for the view modeling. You have to bring the structure here. Then based on that structure, you can build the model. ETL process. That that is separate later. First we will uh, discuss about the modeling, then we will get the data. Replication technologies. Right? Under the catalog we have a schema. Our schema is what? E fashion tutorial. E fashion tutorial. Under that we have tables. Right? So now I am going to take two tables, one is the article lookup, another one is the article color lookup. Just, you just select this, drag it into your data foundation. You select, drag it into data foundation. The same, uh, second table also you just drag it into data foundation. If you have third table, you drag that as well into the data foundation. Now, I have to create a join. Now, I have to create a join. Creation and before that you select the output columns or after that also you can select the output columns. Now, if I want to establish a join, I have to see which are the useful. Article ID is available in both the tables. If the article ID of this is equals to this, 
then you fetch these 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 columns. So you can do this in two ways. Just drag this line. That's it. As we map in transformations, just select this column, click on here, and drag a line to this particular column. This is one way. Or right click here, create a join. Right click here, create a join. Left table is what? That is my article lookup. Right table is what? That is my e-fashion tutorial. That is a, a color lookup. And article ID of this equals to article ID of this. Right? What is the join type? Whether it is an inner join, referential, left outer, right outer, text. I will take inner join. Inner join means when the condition satisfies, only those records will be displayed. If you have 10 rows here, 20 rows here, but if you have on the left side, you have only 10 rows, that means 10 article IDs. Right side, you have 20 rows, means 20 article IDs. Right? If this article ID equals to this article ID, then they only those, uh, that means how many uh, uh, articles uh, will be found? Only 10 articles. If this article ID of the left table equals to the article ID of the right table, then only that particular row details will be displayed from both the tables based on your selected columns. Cardinality is 1 is to 1. Just click on OK. Now, huh? you have to set all these things here. Only this left to right tables need not to be selected. Giant type you have to select. Once you drag the link, it is same. Based on the practice, you can do it whatever the way that you want. You just drag a link between the columns. That that we have to do here. This properties will be shown here. It's not compulsory to show the cardinality is your duty. So if you don't show the cardinality, it will, the multiple searches will happen. Searches will be more. Please read some facts about the database. That's what I already requested when I just started HANA. Just to go through the fundamentals, DBMS, RDBMS fundamentals. Right? Now, what columns that I need to select? I need to select article ID. If you want, it's not compulsory. Article label, article category. So you see some of the columns are common in both these. Family name here, family name here. Family code here, family code here. Do you really want them from both two tables? We don't want them from two tables, right? If you want, you can select. Color label I am interested in. Article label I have here, I have here also. You select it from one place. Not from the all the places. Color code. Now in the same video, so you have to select on this icon. Just click on this icon or right click on this column and add to output. These are the two ways. Sales price I am adding from here. Add to output. Now I have a sales price. I want to display discount. How to create a calculated column? Right click on the calculated column. Click new. Name. Discount. Label. Data type is what? Is it a varchar or what data type that you want to create? I want to create as a decimal. Length. I will take it as a float. 
सकते फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट नंबर लेंथ आई थिंक लेंथ इज नॉट नेसेसरी राइट नाउ वेयर डू यू वांट हाउ डू यू वांट टू क्रिएट दिस आई वांट टू क्रिएट बेस्ड ऑन दिस सेल्स प्राइस डिवाइडेड बाय दिस इज अ फॉर्मूला हाउ मच अरे सॉरी इंटू फोर फोर्टी परसेंट डिस्काउंट पॉइंट फोर जीरो जीरो पॉइंट फोर You have all these functions. If if you are working with the strings, you have strings: string length, mid string, left string, right string, in string, hex to row, L trim, R trim, trim, L pad, R pad, replace. Mathematical functions you have: sine, arcs, round, round down. You are getting the. For example, you are creating a report. You are you have some calculations based on that. You are getting a decimal with five six. decimal places you want to round it to 3 or 2 decimals based on the precision that you need right general percentages we will go up to 2 decimal points or 1 decimal point but if you need further calculations and all you may be going to 5 6 decimal points when you are calculating huge amount of data that may matter for some time okay you have date functions days between days between end end date and start date a uh, start date and end date now today's date if you want to display somewhere i want to display a column the reporting report generation date now is the time stamp it will generate and it will add you need not to maintain any column in your database it which will decrease the memory size right add days so i want to extrapolate the date i want uh, from today after 15 days date i want to display add days 15 so likewise you have multiple pre existing things you have there if in the case is null other lot of other uh, things that you have so you just click on okay once it is created you click on okay this is what you are view is now ready you have to just click on save and activate or save and validate and save and activate it is completed you can just click on this auto layout whenever you are not able to uh, see all these things are fitted to your uh, thing the, here properly inner join this is language okay right everything is done so what to do now i want to see the preview of my view your views will be stored here in the attribute views folder ab underscore multiple click on this and data sorry you should go to semantics first before go doing this you should go to semantic set one of the column as the 